In my previous video, I discussed how cultural revival may help Russia solve its internal woes. In this video, I will try to find ways in how Russia's geopolitics can benefit from these internal changes. Russia has been effectively cornered by the West in recent years. American soft power has reached most of Eastern Europe, with their military, economic, and cultural influence being present in many countries that were under Russian influence just 30 years ago. Western presence has even been reached in former Soviet republics, most notably in the Baltics, but Ukraine and Georgia are also supposedly supported by the West, both having poor relations with Russia, due to breakaway regions in both countries fostering good relations with Russia. Will this enmity continue, and is it necessary for either the West or Russia? I'll explain this along with two other factors that may give Russia what it needs to secure its interests globally. Number 1. Cordial relations with the Western world. I see that there is great potential in a cordial relationship between the West and Russia. I don't see the two civilizations outright working side by side, but I can definitely see them working together against a common adversary, or whenever partnership serves the interests of both civilizations. The main point of contention between the two civilizations is Eastern Europe, as Russia feels threatened by the West's expansion into its backyard. Russia would not have this fear if the West did not actively demonize Russia and its media. I think that the West should look out for its own interests instead of only allying with other Western countries, but it shouldn't pick and choose which dictatorships to ally with based on historical grudges, but rather strategic concerns. Russia isn't doing the best job of fostering this relationship either, as it lends its support to rebel groups in Georgia and Ukraine, both of which are self-professed allies of the West. Russia and the West should have an alliance, technically, as the threat of China growing its influence globally affects both civilizations negatively. Russia stands with nothing to gain from being in an alliance with China, as once it is far enough under China's thumb, they can do whatever they want with them, including taking Siberia and Central Asia completely from their control. America would much rather have Russia control Siberia than China as well, as China poses a much greater threat to America's interests globally than Russia does. Number 2. Assuming Leadership in the Orthodox World if Russia can effectively promote the Orthodox Church within its borders, it can be seen as a beacon for other Orthodox nations to ally with. Also, if Russia can effectively repair relations with the Western world, some Orthodox nations in Southeastern Europe can simultaneously have American and Russian influence in their borders. It sounds crazy, but there are no rules stating that one country cannot be allied with two great powers, especially if these powers are willing to cooperate with each other to a degree. If tensions do arise between the West and Russia after they have secured their interests in these regions, Russia can almost break away the Orthodox nations from Western control. Promoting Orthodox unity will also be important in the future with the threat of the rising Islamic power of Turkey. Though greatly influenced by Western culture, Turkey would be seen as an enemy rather than a protector to many countries in the Black Sea region due to the much greater difference in culture and bad history. Serbia, Greece, Romania, and Armenia would be the steadfast Russian allies in the event of a Russo-Turkish Cold War. The trickiest part of this leadership would be to regain the trust of Ukraine and Georgia, something I have little faith in happening, unless a huge regime and cultural change occurs in both countries. They also foster good relations with Turkey, who see them as a protector against Russia. Iran is another country Russia should keep on its good side. If Russia can convince Iran that it is a better ally to have than China, Iran can help them contain Turkish influence in the region. This is something I'll explain in a future video. Number 3. Promoting Russian culture globally. If Russia wants to be seen as a trustworthy ally, it needs to be seen as one that has a stable government that is not shady, and a culture that is admirable. This will be tricky for Russia to do right now, especially with its perception in the West, but if it can fix its internal policies to reflect a more stable culture filled with great aspects that the world can learn from, it will be in a good place. I see great things in Russian culture, especially their literature, but unfortunately so many people never realize these great things because of how terrible of an image they have in the West. Personally, I don't think it's fair that they have such a bad reputation, but Russia still needs to turn itself around to get the world on its side, and return to these great aspects of the culture. With all this said, Russia is a country that has great potential to do great things due to its unique position in the global stage. That is indisputable. If they can follow through on what it takes for them to give the world the image they need, on the other hand, is an entirely different question. Thank you all for watching, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends. Let's get to 5,000 subscribers by September, so please share my content with everyone you know. If this can be achieved, expect even better content from this channel. Come take a look at my new Patreon and Discord server, and I'll see you guys next time.